doing? So I ain't been over here for a while. Been real busy working. I never thought this guy would come back, but today he has made a return. Here's what happened. It's not in the morning ring notification goes off. I assumed it was the mailman like any other day, but that was not the case. It was open the door guy. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw his face. This time he was just trying to let everyone know what he's been up to and he also apologized for not coming to visit. This motherfucker has completely forgotten what happened last time. So for context on what happened last time, this guy literally broke into the crib. I'm gonna just play the clip. Open the door. I'm sorry I'm so bad. Open the door. I'm sorry, I apologize. This time he shows up with flowers, cookies, and starts talking about, open the door, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry for what? So I start thinking, hmm, them cookies would be busting right now. So I give in and I start approaching the door to accept his little gifts, and you will not believe what happened next. <laughs> Dude, it was all one big trap. This motherfucker went into his locker room, changed skins, and jumped through my glass front door. I guess he finally realized that I wasn't gonna open the door for him, so he decided to just bust it. Last time, he was not Mr. Nice Guy. And a lot of people don't realize that because they didn't go watch the full video. I posted a short on this, like, completely out of context, and I got a lot of hate. Like, people were really mad at me. They're like, oh, oh, he's just trying to apologize. Which, I mean, that's what the video showed but I didn't show the second part like I was fighting for my life in the comments the comment section was a battleground because some people watched the full video and some people didn't watch the full video and they were pissed okay so back to this time this is the third time that he has came and this time he was like you in there open in your you know typical things that he would say but then he starts talking about like what he's been up to and everything and I was like man maybe he is Mr. Nice Guy this time maybe he's a changed man and you know what I was like I think he is a changed man so you know what I did I opened the door for him I really did I went and opened the door for him finally I did it and now he's a lot better and he's not how he used to be He's not a criminal anymore. He is Mr. Nice Guy. We hugged and everything's now good. Everything that happened in the past, we're gonna leave in the past. We are bros now. This right here is the shit that you will only see in Walmart. I was just casually doing my weekly shopping when all of a sudden I started to hear all hail break loose in the Walmart. So I look behind me to see what's going on and I see one of the worst cases of alcohol abuse I have ever seen. This NPC is bugging on a stack. Like what the fuck is she on? As you know, I have seen some crazy shit in Walmart, but bro, I gotta say, this one just takes the cake. Like the other ones aren't even close. First, it was the guy riding the unicorn. Then it was Milkman that got on top of the, the spinny grocery bag thing and started singing, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Now this. I just remember I was literally just looking at the apples in the produce section. Then I started to hear glass breaking. So I looked behind me to see what that noise was. And dude, I saw something that I will never forget. It was an NPC popping bottles like it's New Year's. Like what the actual fuck did I lay my eyes on? I was so confused at first, but I immediately started thinking outside of the box. So here's how I took advantage of the situation. Nobody was looking at me. So as nobody was looking, I literally filled my backpack with apples. I fit like a hundred apples in that bitch. So back to the lady. So this lady walked in the store, went shopping for about 10 minutes because she had some things in her cart, and then just decided to start smashing bottles on the floor. Why? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. There's no way that's a real person. Like, that actually makes no sense. There's no way that's a real person because some who would do that? It's probably just an NPC that wasn't programmed right. That's all I can think of. She literally destroyed half of the bottles on that aisle. That's like hundreds of bottles. There was like three inches of broken glass on the entire aisle floor. Think about it. That's actually insane. And this whole deal went on for like... 30 minutes. 
So I did all my shopping, and when I got to the self-checkout, she was still smashing bottles, and nobody was looking at me. So I only paid for like half the items. I had to be the worst. Look, hang on, I'm First things first, stealing porch furniture is actually fucking crazy. Who in their right mind wakes up in the morning and is just like, yeah, I'm gonna go steal some porch furniture today. Grandma has got to have something personal with me because who the fuck does that? It is so obvious that grandma has something personal with me. Because if you're gonna go out and steal something, commit a crime, you're not gonna go out and steal the least valuable item possible. Like that couch is worth like five bucks. It's not even a couch, it's like a, a sitting bench that pretty much has like no value at all like that is something you would find on the side of the road for free like honestly if that thing wasn't mine i wouldn't even pay five bucks for it like i don't know why she wanted it so bad doesn't it just doesn't make sense she could have stolen like someone's package or something that actually might have value but no no she's like yeah i'm gonna go steal this dude's sitting bench this his old his 10 year old moldy sitting bench i want that i'm gonna go steal that i'm pulling over right now i'm gonna go steal that right now i need that thing in my living room it just doesn't make sense oh my god bro oh hell, hell no man what the fuck man get your ass on this right here is footage of the smartest person in Ohio. Like what I just witnessed is actually insane. There is no way Granny is serious doing all that. So for context, I was at the McDonald's pickup thing, the, the curbside order thing, the online order, whatever you want to call it. I was just waiting for my order, you know, not really paying attention to my surroundings. You know, I was just on my phone. But when I put my phone down and looked up, I saw this old lady trying to use that phone. She was trying to use that phone. Like there's a small chance this might be Albert Einstein. Like there's a small chance this might be Albert Einstein. But like, is she actually serious though? Because if pressing those buttons didn't work the first time, it might not work the second and third time. And also that thing is made of cardboard or metal. I'm not sure. Like it's obviously not gonna work if that makes any sense. It took her like 30 seconds to figure it out, but eventually she did figure out how to do it. But maybe she was just trolling. Probably not. She's probably dead serious, but there's a small chance that she was just trolling. I really don't know though, and I know you don't know either. I guess we'll never know. Make sure to drop a like on this video and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed because this is the best content on YouTube right now and you will not regret it. And also, if you guys have a Discord, join up on my Discord. I'm gonna leave the link to my Discord in the description. You should really join up on that. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Peace.